Good morning. This is Black Crow Walking with a study of A Course of Love by Mari Perrin. We're up to chapter 5, verse 18. You thus become a body moving through a world of illusion where nothing is real and nothing is happening in truth. Thus, illusionary, this illusionary wheel, world, this illusionary world, is full of things you have been told yourself and been instructed that you have to do. But that you do not want to do. The more your life consists of such things... Sorry. The smaller your reality becomes. All that you would join with, all that would join with you and become part of the real world of your creation remains beyond your reach. I hope you heard that word, your creation. There is nothing in your world that cannot be made holy through relationship with you. For you are holiness itself. You do not know this only because you fill your mind and leave your heart empty. Your heart becomes full only through relationship or union. A full heart can overshadow a full mind, leaving no room for senseless thoughts, but only for what is tr truly real. Let's have a look at that. We may go on later on. But this is the crux of pretty much everything we've been talking about right up to this verse, which is chapter 5, verse 19. Basically, it's saying nothing that's coming from your head is real. It's all illusionary. And the only way to be in the true path to and live a life that is holy is from the heart. And your union and joining with others brings the reality, the truth. Love does not come from the mind, it comes from the heart. Let's read it. You thus become a body moving through the world of illusion where nothing is real and nothing is happening in truth. We think that everything we see with our eyes is true and real, but it's not. And when someone's acting out, we think that person is a bad person. We're trained to judge. And that person's just hurting. They're just a crying baby with their needs unmet. Are you that person? Are your needs not being met? And how are you crying in the world? Let's love each other. Let's join together. We don't have to fix people. That's not what this is about. You're not being asked to sympathise or fix people or educate people. You're just asked to join your heart with their heart. And then you will truly love. This illusionary world is full of things you have told yourself and been instructed that you have to do. And that you do not want to do. Oh, you know what? If I applied that to school, I didn't really want to do maths. What the hell's maths going to do for me? I loved English. But maths, commerce, nah. History, no. I was terrified that I wouldn't remember anything in terms of dates and places that weren't important to me. 
The more your life consists of such things that you don't want to do, but that you've been told you have to do, the smaller your reality becomes. If that all that would join with you and become part of the real world of your creation remains beyond your reach. Now, I can read that again because that is actually what they're talking about. All that would join with you in your heart and become part of the real world. The real world is in your heart, the inner journey. The real world of your creation, you create from that inner journey. You create your life the way you want it. Therefore, you are responsible for creating hell or heaven. And if you are joining with the hearts of those that you come in contact with, and the heart of the tree, and the heart of the lake, and the heart of the, the rain, and the wind, and joining with all of it in your heart, that's where the real world is. That's where your creation is. And it will remain beyond your reach. While ever you're looking outside yourself and walking the path of the trained, programmed robot that this world has told us we have to be. I'm not doing that anymore. Are you? I'm creating my world the way I want it. And I'm doing a pretty good job. I'm calm, I'm peaceful, I'm happy, I live in heaven, I've got a lake in front of me, I've got beautiful community that's loving and supportive, and I've joined with them, and I've joined with you. If you're watching this, you know I love you. So let's be in the creation of our inner world, out into our environment. How exciting is that? There is nothing in your world that cannot be made holy through relationship with you. Do we really need to have Do we really need to have others um <clears throat> others out there? And not in here, in your heart. Do we need to keep them at, at, at a distance? And why are we doing that? We're doing it because they're babies with unmet needs that are crying. And what they really want is just to be loved. It's not hard to love. It's hard to hate. It's not hard to love. It's hard to hate. It's bad on the body. Makes you sick inside. So let's just love everyone and recognize that they've got unmet needs. And don't sympathize, empathize. What is empathy? It is truly being present with someone else, listening, caring, creating a space for them to be without fixing. Without educating, without me tooing, without telling them your story, just creating from a place of empathy. You can do it, you can do it. <laughs> there is nothing in this world that cannot be made holy through relationship with you. How beautiful is that? For your holiness, you are holiness itself. You do not know this only because you filled your mind. You fill your mind and leave your heart empty. Goodness me. Let's do the opposite. Fill your heart. Leave your mind empty. That mind is just so hell-bent on separation and destruction. Your heart becomes full only through relationship or union. A 
full heart can overshadow a full mind, leaving no room for senseless thoughts, but only for what is truly real. A full heart, yep, this thing here, can only overshadow a full mind, leaving no room for senseless thought, but only for what is truly real. So today, let us, let us fill our hearts with the remembrance, the awakening into your holiness. Sit and feel and know from your heart, not your mind. Take the mind off the throne. And remember who you are. You are beautiful. You are holy. Your inner path is the truth. Come back to you, beloved. Get out of your mind. It's not a pleasant place to be. Someone trained it with all this dysfunctional stuff and you don't need that. Come back to you today. The real you. The inner journey. Until we meet tomorrow, I love you. Bye for now.